Issa Isha Yesu for making you turn. She has come out to tell us why she's not going to be supporting Peter Obi. Mm -hmm. And people are like, ah, ah, what is happening? Aisha, what has been going on? Because we know the day Aisha came out, I think in 2022. Yeah. Yes, that was when she came out and said, oh, she's going to be supporting Peter Obi. And everybody was like, oh, wow, wow, wow. But no. And she has come out that she's not going to be supporting Peter Obi again. But she gave reason for that. Not that she's just coming out to say, I'm not going to be supporting um peter will be if he wants to contest in 2027 of course which i know that a peter will be, will be contesting in 2027 and a lot of people are really uh reasoning in the line of a uh, aisha yusufu that they will not support peter will be uh because of the reason aisha yusufu has given and what is that reason <laughs> aisha yusufu was just a she was interviewed on Arise TV and she was asked a lot of questions and whether she's a part a card carry member of Labour Party, which of course she says she doesn't support any party. She supports an individual. And of course we know that uh, Peter Obi has been aligning or meeting, not aligning, of course, because he has not come out officially to say that uh, he's aligning with anybody. The uh, he has been meeting with a uh, PDP members, uh Atiku Kwakwansu and the rest of them saraki and all of that and people are like what is this guy what is he up to whether he looking at him and aisha yusufu has come out to say that he's not going to support peter b if he's going to be a running mate to somebody to, to not be maybe vice president a vice a presidential candidate lie lie that she's not going to support she's going to cut off peter b if that happens but she doesn't mind any party that uh, obi wants to use their platform to vie for the position of uh, the president or to contest that she doesn't care about any party she cares alone about the candidates and that is what she stands for yes you got it you got that she's not supporting will be if he will be running mate as in vice president to somebody and that will be the end and a lot of people are like yes that is it that is it if that happens it's not going to work and this uh, Professor Sam Amadi, I think he's a professor. Yes, he said, if Obi thinks he's going to win any election without obedience, he's, he's lying, he's joking. So they need to start ringing it in his mind in case some people want to really cajole him and all of that. And the reason why they are bringing Obi, Obi is even more popular than Peter, uh, than Tinumbu. He's more popular than any politician of today because Obi is the only one who they talk about. Any party you are, if you want to get a position or whatever, favor from the government of the day they call obi if you want to do this they call obi obi is the one who is giving all of them night nightmare so you now see that is more popular than them anything if the old nigerians come and say this is what the government of the day is doing that is not right the government they won't say anything the politician won't say anything but if obi say this if he says the same thing it becomes a problem it becomes a problem. Nigerians are hungry. They know they are hungry. If Obi now come out and if Obi comes out and say Nigerians are hungry, they will not say, How dare you say it? Why should you say so? Meanwhile, everybody is saying the same thing. So that's why, in my opinion, I, I think he's more popular than all of them. So all those people who are calling him for a meeting, they are calling him because of his popularity, because they know he's well grounded. He's, he has that a natural uh, followership, natural support, organic. Well, Aisha Yusufu is an icon, deeply tribalized, intelligent, and a very sharp, fearless uh, woman. He said, if you are coming for me to come and arrest me, it is even better that she will be more safer than... Because those who are in the custody of police and the custody of uh, DDSS, they are more safer than those who think that they are working freely. Yes, Aisha most, uh, Yusufu, the most powerful gay lady woman in Nigeria, period. Uh, humility in spite of all education and charisma baffles me aisha yusufu is an example of a true nigeria she's the number one woman in nigeria to me she symbolizes all we want in a future of nigeria verbally and orally if aisha yusufu should contest for presidency she will have my vote she's brave intelligent patriotic and a role model worthy of emulation by all women She's one of the best minds and, and Amazon in the messy and corrupt Nigeria politicians. Tough. A woman of good character, a true role model for Nigeria in these rotting days. Okay. Mm -hmm. Aisha Yusuf is a great woman, yeah? Uh, what a wonderful 
uh, uh, explanation from Aisha, the Amazon of our generation. God got your back. You okay? Well done, oh, Mama. Keep flying. Aisha Yusuf is a gift from God to the nation of Nigeria. You can say that again. You can say that again. Indeed, Aisha Yusuf, you are a determined, strong voice. You cannot be squashed. There should be more or few out there to address the vices of Nigeria. God helping Nigerians will get there. God bless and keep you. Ah, uh, Mama Aisha. Aisha Yusuf is written a uh, has written a history on the path of political greatness. I believe Abure should take this advice to the bank. Mm. The Nigeria Amazon, the lady Aisha Yusufu, I greet you. I worship the ground you walk on. Thanks once again for being the voice of the voiceless. Ah, it's not an easy thing. Of course, Obi should not just try himself. Oh, if he do any, he sees any. Uh, nobody, nobody get time. Oh. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people are not uh, like uh, those who do not know their they don't know their words, they don't have a self worth, they don't have integrity anywhere. But if God forbid saying that uh, this person is my is for my visit, if your brother do any harm, call him out. Ah, some people, eh, hello me, hello me, or I hear well, some people, eh, don't be like that they live. Oh, people they do you, they, they show now what to what to they, they serve on a breakfast, yet you are still defending, defending what, ha. Huh. Defending what and she said there's no governance in Nigeria. That's so she's not going to be demanding anything for those who rig their way into office. Those who rig their way into office. Aisha Yusufu, you are truly an inspiration. Of course, she is a voice for the voiceless, a courageous woman of substance. Thank you so much for all you do for Nigeria. We love you. Uh, spot on. They will start to run kitty kitty. Start to run kata kata. Mm-hmm. That's it. All these politicians, all these corrupt politicians. A brave and fearless woman. A woman of honor and great character. Yes, she has made that point. If you be tries to do what is not in line with what Nigerians want, he is on his words, is on his own. So he better listen. Oh, Aisha Yusuf has come up on national TV to tell Obi if you say you want to do like you want to come like television we're not clear you're on your own nobody send you nobody send anybody if you do right into the people will support you. if you do the other thing other, the other way around behave in another in an awkward manner forget it forget it so guys uh, let's know what you think and have your take concerning what Aisha I said